Hi there, and welcome to another tech tip with me, Phil Johnston. This one's really quick, and um, just something I was messing about with, I thought was pretty cool, and something you should try. Um, I've created a wee um, bass line and uh, kick drum. And I was playing about with sort of um, sidechain compression. And then I thought I would try using the sidechain on a filter because I didn't really use it that often, but um, I knew it was there. Um, so what, I, what we're going to do is just basically set up a sidechain on uh, a filter to work in the same way as on the compressor. And what, what's basically what you're going to do here is, or one, one of the reasons that we use sort of sidechain compression on bass specifically is that when a kick and the bass hit at the same time, um, there's too much bass energy and it can sort of overpower our mixes. So what we w tend to do with um, sidechain compression is just duck out that um, kick drum bass on the normal bass so that it's not playing at the same time. Um, but this obviously affects the full um, bass sound. So what we can do is use our auto filter to do the same sort of thing. We're going to create a, a sidechain. We're going to have it from our drum rack and from our um, our kick drum and then instead of it turning down the whole volume what we're going to do is have it just when the kick drum hits just have it go up in frequency so all we're really doing is then cutting out the the bottom frequency and what this does is keep the top end highs intact and um, just sort of ducks out the the bass so let's hear what that sounds like and uh, basically what we need to do is set our attack and release the same as we would um, on a normal compressor and then we can just use our envelope to affect the sidechain so you're still getting a sort of the pumping effect in the on the bottom end but you're you're not touching the top end as much and then you can also play about with different effects <laughs> So there you go, that's pretty much it. Um, pretty quick tech tip there, but um, definitely worth trying out in your tracks. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting, and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.